Hi, this is Paula Biggs with Frog Prince Papery, uh, welcoming you to another episode of Crafty Hangouts on Air. This one's sponsored by Plutonium Paint. Um, I have used spray paint for as long as I've been styling kids' birthday parties. I, I do a lot of you know, highly stylized, over-the-top kind of parties for kids. And five years ago when I started, there really wasn't a lot um, of selection ready-made uh, to do stands and, and risers and, and things like that when I was doing my displays. So I had to make everything myself, and what I ultimately used was spray paint because I got the color to match my party every time. Um, so I am going to show you how I made those cake stands, and actually it's a pretty inexpensive proposition because I went to the thrift store to find most of the pieces parts. Um, you can find these silver platters at thrift stores just about everywhere, and if you can't find them there, go to the dollar store. They have them too. Um, I also use the other things we're going to use is uh, a candlestick purchased at a thrift store and this little vase um, also purchased at a thrift store. Um, this came, it was white, but it was a funny shade of white and this was a clear uh, candlestick when I started, but I have spray painted everything because I had no ventilation in my office to show you how to spray paint uh, on air. So the first thing that you're going to do is you are going to scrub clean everything that you are spray painting because spray paint doesn't stick to dirty stuff. So scrub it twice with a little scrubby. Make sure it's nice and clean and then dry it thoroughly. And that way you have your surface prepped uh, to accept the spray paint and not um, just waste your money because <laughs> you'll have to do it again. Uh, you'll get little flecks of dirt in it and you know dust and then it just makes for an ugly finish in the end. So first thing you're going to do after you clean is you're going to put the first coat on. Um, and what I'm doing with my cake stand is I'm trying to kind of match the plate that I'm using a little bit um, with the gold stripe and the white. So I'm putting a white base on first. So I used my white plutonium paint. I put it in a box and then I sprayed uh, the top Gave it five minutes to dry. Not even kidding you. Plutonium paint is awesome like that. The drying time is like next to nothing. Um, and it's ready to touch after five minutes. I flipped it over, sprayed the other side. And after that was nice and dry, what I did, this is just an example, is I took my plate and I used blue painter's tape to tape off some stripes. So uh, there is part of one stripe. Never mind that, I'm getting a little excited about the blue painter shape there. There we go. And when you have the time, very, very carefully, you know, kind of measure and put your painter's tape down to where your stripe is perfect and straight and beautiful. I don't have time for that right now. So you just put this paint off, uh, the painter's tape on to make the stripe that you want to paint. And then you are going to take a piece of paper and cover the part that you don't want painted. Because uh, if there's one drawback to, to spray paint is that there's a lot of overspray. So, you know, just taping off the little part there and painting, you're going to get gold spray paint everywhere when you um, continue on. Versus if you just cover everything that you don't want painted first. And then just take another piece of tape and tape down the paper so it stays stuck. Now, um, when you get to this point, you probably want to use um, the Pro Caps by Plutonium. These are pretty cool. I haven't seen these in another uh, can of spray paint, so I was really impressed. Actually, I've been really impressed with Plutonium um, through this project. Uh, all They have all these little different caps, and they all have different spray areas. So the one that came with it um, sprays about uh, you know, two to three inches or so. But the black cap one that I used to spray my gold spray, uh, my gold bands, uh, it, they spray about a third of an inch. So it's very precise. You're not wasting uh, a lot of anything. And I will say one more thing about uh, <laughs> plutonium paint and, and using it is really everything only required one coat that I did. And I am used to having to go back for two or three coats with my paint. Um, the plutonium actually has a much higher pigment load than the 99 cent cans or even the $4 cans that you find at the hardware store. So uh, well worth it from the drying time, the pigment load, um, coverage, 
and the nasty spray paint smell that you usually have was not there with this paint. So I loved plutonium paint. There's a whole box of uh, spray paint in my garage that is going in the trash and I'm gonna replace it with this stuff. <laughs> so anyway, after you have your gold, um, after you spray painted, your painted, your tape, excuse me, your tape offline, just go ahead and rip off very carefully the uh, painter's tape and then you will end up with um, pretty straight down uh, down your plate. Now, um, I, I actually went back with a piece of tape and I ripped off the paint on purpose on this one uh, to match the plate that I was using in my project that I'm doing uh, in another time. So now we have our plates, our two platters uh, spray painted, and they are ready to go. My little vase got spray painted white, and I'm actually just gonna flip that over, and that's gonna be my vase. Now, when you put this together, you have two choices. If you are just gonna use it for this very one event, whatever, one time, go ahead and put it together with hot glue, because what you can do afterwards is you can pop everything apart and put it away, or throw it away, or reuse it for something else. Um, if you are going to use this over and over again, use an epoxy adhesive. It will be, make it sturdier and it will stay together forever versus a one-time use thing. But for me, this is for a photo shoot, so I am going to one-time use it so I can put it away in small pieces instead of taking up half a shelf after I am done. So a little glue. I actually made a little X on the bottom of my tray so I can kind of eyeball where I am centering this a little easier. There we go. All right, another little X on top where my center is. Oop, I'm sorry. There's my candlestick that goes next. Basically, all you want to do is you want to pick thrifted items that are going to go from big to little in your trays and short to tall in your risers. All right, so there's a candlestick, and then we put a little more glue up here. Oh, I am out of glue stick. So we'll pretend that I'm putting this on really tight. Kind of want to line up. There's the X on the bottom of my plate. And there, and now it is all stacked up, glued together. Um, the next thing, only other thing that I would do at this point is to put a spray acrylic on it just to seal up the paint um, a little more so no, nothing else chips off or anything and it kind of protects it a little more. Um, one more thing about using cake stands that are spray painted, they are not food safe. Um, you can find food safe acrylic uh, out on the internet. <coughs> And if you put a food safe acrylic over the top, it would be okay to put anything that goes directly on there um, that will directly go into your mouth. Otherwise, use it for cupcakes, use it for shot glass desserts, um, use it for stuff that is in a container and being displayed on here because uh, you really don't want to get anybody sick um, well, because of your server. But anyway, this is perfect for cupcakes, which is what I will be using it for. Um, and not only that, it's a pretty little custom piece to add to your party. Thank you again to Plutonium for sponsoring this crafty hangout on air. And I really enjoyed showing you this product. Have a great day.